everybody's top water Johnny. And in this bass fishing video, we'll be reviewing the Godzilla of top water, the Chase Bait Frill Seeker, and the King Kong of top water, the Mega Bass Gong. The question is, which one of these top water titans is the best? Let's go. Cow, folks. Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Hey, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny here. Want to welcome to the next video here. Please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel so that we can stay connected because this video is dedicated to the Godzilla and King Kong movie that's coming out this week. And so looking at my lures, I realized I have two lures that truly match up with the movie that's coming out this week. And of course, the first one is the Chase Bait Frill Seeker. And the other one is the Mega Bass Gong. And when I looked at these here, I realized that we had something special. So what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to do a review of the Chase Bay Frill Seeker, the Mega Bass Gong, and then we're going to take them out on the water, do some testing on it, and then I'm going to come at the very end and give you my final thoughts on which one of these top water titans is the best, just like the movie. So let's go ahead and roll the film. And the Godzilla of top water, name Chase Bait Frill Seeker. The cost is $17.99. The size is seven inches in length. The weight is 0.56 ounces. The lure style is weight bait. The water depth, it can go down to one foot in depth. The environment is open water and edge of cover. Target species that pursue this lure are largemouth bass, peacock bass, muskies, and pike. Special feature, lifelike lure triggers bites. Lure description, A, rattle chamber inside. B, has four segmented tail. C, three jointed section in the body. And D, the weight bill is narrow which allows it to have fast or slow action or twitch motion on the surface. This is the Godzilla of topwater lures, the chase bait frill seeker. And now the King Kong of topwater lures, named Mega Bass Gong. Price is $24.99. The size is 2.75 inches. The weight is 0.58 ounces. The lure style is a wake bait crank bait. The water depth is surface and floating. The environment where this lure most excels is open water. Target species that pursue this lure, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. Special feature calls bass up and triggers reaction bites. Lure description A, there is no rattles in this chamber. B, has a willow bladed tail in the back. C, it's compact, no joints within it. And D, weight bait bill is wide, which allows it to have what they call the rolling monkey dance. This is the King Kong of Top Waters, the Mega Bass Gong. And now, the Godzilla of Top Water, the Chase Bait Frill Seeker. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny, and we are at the lake now, and we are going to test out the Chase Bait Frill Seeker lure. It's the lizard lure. We're going to test it out here. And I wanted to go somewhere where this type of lure would have, would really be more conducive. So I want to show everybody something real quick here. Just look out there. Just want you to see out there how calm the water is, how calm the water is 
see where the vegetation is. See where the vegetation is and see how calm that actual water is. So I wanted to show you that so that you could kind of get an idea of what I was talking about when I was doing my description and briefing about how the water has to be calm, how there has to be vegetation so that there are lizards and animals that would be near the water be able to, so the bass could have a chance at them. So I wanted to just kind of show you that so that you would kind of see what I was talking about where you want to put this kind of lure in environments where the possibility for a lizard to be, to fall into the water, to swim is possible. And also it has to be where bass would typically be looking for those type of um, prey items. So I just wanted to kind of give you that little insight and we're gonna go ahead and get started now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what I hear about is a little bit of this cover. I'm gonna let it stay calm, let the water dissipate because remember the water Actually, there's no current out here. There's no waves. And then just kind of bring it back in near where vegetation is. And it's got a good waving action here because it does have a lip on it there. So as, it, as you see it coming in here, it has a, that tail is giving a lot of action in the back there. So it's definitely snaking along. Let's see here. See if you guys can see that. As you can see it right there. And it has that, that snake, it's got that snaking action right there. Do it out here again. As you can see, it's got that snaking action there with the tail. And it moves right to left if you pop it. So right to left, if you pop it, when you throw it out there, you know, it definitely, it won't sink, but it kind of has tail up a little bit because of that bill on it, you know, that little piece on there. So this is a wake bait. So it's going to make a lot of movement on top of the water and running across there. As you can see, like it's just like a, it's got excellent action as far as being a little lizard. It's got great action throw it back out here and what I'm trying to do because it has it has hooks on it it has treble hooks so I'm trying not to get it snagged up in the vegetation but I am trying to throw near the vegetation hoping that some bass will see that as they go as it's going by so like as you can see over here there's vegetation in between there Bring it out there. I'm going to let it sit and then try to bring it through there. Because that's typically where, that's typically where if there was a lizard swimming, they would be. They'd be in that little area right there. And like I said, it's got great movement, great action. It definitely, that tail is really moving a lot. So as far as a lure that has great action, this lure definitely has great action. It's a jointed lure, as I probably already discussed. It's a, it's a jointed lure, and it's got treble hooks on it. But this little bill right here, that little bill right there makes it have, makes it dive a little bit like a wake bait. But it definitely gives it a lot of action. So... There you have it, a little review of the chase bait, put it up here, there you have it, there's a review of the chase bait frill seeker, all right. And now, the King Kong of top water, the Mega Bass Gong. Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny, and we are out at the lake here to do our test on the King Kong of Topwater, the Mega Bass Gong. So let's go ahead and do our lure testing right now. All right, everybody, here we are. And this is our Mega Bass Gong, but this is actually the Gong Junior right here. And we're gonna go ahead and do our testing. As I mentioned before, this is a wake bait. And we've got a little ripple on the water out here. 
So we're going to go ahead and begin our testing right now and see what we get. All right. Okay. And I'm putting the um, Mega Bass Gong on my 7 foot, 30 pound bait caster. And I, that's how I'm going to be doing the testing on it. And as you can see right here, there's cover over there in the corner. Now it's got treble hooks, therefore we can't throw it into that weed cover, but we're going to throw it near that weed cover and see how it operates. So we throw it out there and we let it sit and let it drift a little bit because I want it to kind of drift near that cover. I don't want it to be in the cover, but I want it to drift near it for a moment. And as it drifts near it, then I will activate it. And that's something to think about when you're fishing this lure. You might not want to, you don't want, might not want to throw it in the cover, but if the current can take you toward the cover, and then suddenly when you get close enough, you begin your retrieve. And then that gives the assemblance of a potentially of a fleeing bait fish right there. And as I bring this back in here, this particular lure, if you put the lure, if you put your rod tip down, then it's going to dive more. If you keep the rod tip up, you're going to get more of a of a more of a, a more of a sub more of a surface wake to it. So I threw it back out there again, as you can see on the ripples, and I'm trying to let it. I'm trying to let the current bring it over toward the shallow area, but then I'm going to start reeling it back in now. And as I reel it back in. It dives definitely just below the surface, and it's got a clanking noise that it's making as it comes back in. And so I can, you can feel it when you're reeling it. You can feel the thumping of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here in the shallows so that you guys can see it right there, and we're just going to run it, and you can see it as it as it goes tail up and it starts to wiggle. Throw that one more time out, do it out there again. Tail up. And as you're reeling it, it's got a thumping noise that it does. And that's a lot, and it makes actually a lot of clanking. Every time out here again. Thump, 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 thump. Making that thumping noise. And one more time here. Throw it out there a little bit further for you guys. As you can see, it's out there. And it's just making that thumping noise as it moves along. You can almost hear it clanking a little bit there. Try it again up close. Maybe you can hear that clanking noise. There you go. All right. So I wanted you to hear that clanking noise on it, on it there as well. As you can see right here, there's some weeds that are right in front of us right here. And so what my goal is, is to throw between the weeds and kind of bring it through there. Because sometimes bass are holding up because the water is coming at us right now. And because it's coming at us, those bass could be staging and looking forward straight ahead as things come in toward the shoreline to strike at it. Throw it out there. And then bring it in. And as I'm bringing it in, I'm wanting to bring it along the weed line here, right along by where those bushes are. As you see, it can come up right there. Do it again here. All right. Do it one more time. Do that again. And throw it on the opposite side this time, on this side. And as you can see, it's sitting out there. And then I'm starting to reel it back in. And I'm doing a steady retrieve here but I'm wanting to bring it along the weeds here to give anything this chance to come out and strike at it. So what I wanted to show you was that when you're fishing the Mega Bass Kong here, this is more of an open water type of lure right here that you'd be fishing with. You can throw near cover, but I would always be letting the current kind of glide you into the cover and be sure to bring it out quickly because it does have treble hooks on it. So this is, this completes our review of the King Kong of Topwater, the Mega Bass Gong. So the question is, which one of these Topwater Titans would win? 
the Godzilla of top water, the chase bait frill seeker, or the King Kong of top water, Mega Bass Gong. You choose who will win the top water battle. Okay, everybody. Well, we're back, and I hope you enjoyed the video here of the Chase Bait Frill Seeker and the Mega Bass Gong. Looking at both of these lures here, I just saw, wow, this is a great opportunity to kind of play on the movie that's coming out and do a little bit of comparison of it. So I thought it would be pretty cool, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the lure review and also the testing. Now, the question is, which one of these top water titans right here is actually the best? Well, first, I'm going to, at the end of this video, leave it up to you to tell me in the comment section which one you like the best. But I will tell you this, in my opinion, coming from Orlando area, Florida, this particular one, the Chase Bait Frill Seeker here, has a slight advantage, and just a slight advantage because down here, we have a lot of lizards, a lot of lizards. And as you go further south in Florida, you're going to see iguanas. And those bass will hit iguanas. They will hit lizards. They will truly chase these things. And so this is really a great lure when you're down here in South Florida or anywhere where you might be able to have bass that maybe target snakes or maybe they're targeting some type of amphibian lizard type of little creature. That's when this one really shines and is superb. Great undulation, great movement. So this is kind of like, I'm more leaning toward this one right here. But I'm going to tell you about the Kong here also. The Kong is a superior lure when you're in open water, but also when you're fishing beds. This right here, I know, would just drive a bass crazy. And here's the advantage of the Kong here. When you are running this across the water, it starts to dive. But once it dives, it goes down, but then also it will go vertically back up again. So just think about that for a moment. You're running this across weed beds. You're running it, not weed beds, but you're running this across where they're bedding. And all of a sudden, you can dive it down right in front of them and have it wake right up in front of them that's going to drive them crazy. That's going to really trigger a reaction bite. So in regards to the Kong, I think this is a superior lure for reaction bites. And the chase bait frill seeker is a lure for predatory bites. In other words, they're eating this to eat this. And so I think those are the biggest differences here. So the reality is this, just like in the movie, one is superior based on the environment that it's fished in. So for you, it really depends on the environment. If you're in the right environment, it's going to be the Chase Bay Frill Seeker. If you're in another environment, it could be the calm, all because of where you are fishing it. And that is really the key to deciding which one is best for you. So I just wanted to do this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a kick out of it. It was just me trying to be a little bit more creative. Please give me your thoughts your feelings about it. Which one do you vote for? Which one would you use first? Please leave those comments below. Hit the like button. I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. And I want you to always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight because when you hit those top water lures, especially one of these two lures right here, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.